David with the David West channel. Well, here's that magnifying glass again, and here's some more poplar bark. I'd like to go ahead and make the solar ignition of poplar bark that was missing from yesterday's video. Another little twist I'd like to add, and I'd like to try to fashion some kind of a stand to hold this up so I could just set my poplar bark underneath it. So let's see what happens. Now uh, let's see what kind of a focal point I have. Oh good. I was hoping it would be tall enough. Alright. Now let's process this bark. And I won't make you watch all the processing. I'll just show you how there's nothing to it but just to rough it up, rough it up, and get all the get all the outer bark off of it. Now this is the Dave Canterbury method. This is what I learned from him. To get some fine poplar bark, make it into a little ball, we'll turn that into an ember and ignite this bigger bundle. Let's see what we got going here now. I'm going to zoom in on that, and then I'll zoom back out. If that wind keeps blowing, we might get ignition without having to fan it at all. I probably got enough coal right now to go ahead and get my flame, but let's just, uh, it looks like it's actually going to flame up on its own because of this wind. Let's just give it a little more time.
Well, I wasn't expecting to do it like that, but I guess that's one way to do it, isn't it? All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all joining me on this one. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Never zoomed you back out, did I?